I don't know if you know one of the biggest artists in the world, because even though she has some of the biggest songs in music, it's just me, myself, and I some people still seem to not know who she is. What the hell is BB Rexa? But the craziest part. <laughs> This isn't new to BB at all. In fact, she's had to work and prove herself every part of her career. In fact, if we look at one of the biggest songs of the decade, and we listen to this part, we'll notice that's actually not Rihanna, but actually the person who wrote the song. When Rihanna cuts it and your voice is still all over it. But I knew the second they asked me for my vocals, my background vocals, no, 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 please don't. I was begging my manager at the time, please don't give me my background vocals because I know that whoever's singing this is not going to be able to do no. So people are like, wow, you sound like Rihanna. And even though BB wanted to sing this song. Was it care. awesome though when you heard your voice on the radio or was it I was every sad. Yeah. I was really sad. She had no choice but to give it away. I had no choice but to give the song away. Because I had number one, no money, no record deal. But it gets even crazier. <laughs> Because there's a massive song BB sang the chorus of that the producers of the label actually refused to give her credit for. We wrote the song in like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, me and Sean Douglas. Like, I don't, not the song, the hook. I, I didn't know. Like, I in didn't process. They called me. I was at, I was at, I remember, I remember clearly. I was, and they were like, yeah, you're just on the pre chorus, like a little part. I know you want to get the but they actually wouldn't send BB her own vocal to clear. They wouldn't send me the, the vocal. I didn't know. But then they said they couldn't put her name on it. We can't put your name on it because there's too many names on it for radio. And they shot the video and they were all like in the desert. And I'm like hitting up Afrojack and Geta. And they're like, oh, we're shooting something, but it's like super private. And then you see the video. That killed me because like I was working for so long, you know. But why am I telling you this? Because no matter how successful BB got. You know, I was like kind of like this happy, go lucky girl. And like kind of like really excited about music. And I feel like kind of broke me a little bit, you know. She had to keep fighting and proving herself every step of the way. That's what it makes me who I am. But it's that drive and determination that has brought her this far. Sometimes when I'm misunderstood and I work with these big producers or people and they just want to judge you right off the bat. It has allowed her to get the insane success she's had today. It's like, you don't know my story. You don't know where I come from. So the next time somebody asks, Who the hell is BB Rexa? We can now all say one of the hardest working artists today. Oh,